Welcome back. We're doing all signs today. We're going to see what their damage might be. Checking a peeky peeky at your person to see what they might be thinking, feeling. What is their damage anyway? Starting with Aries, jumping right in. If it is not your story, it is not your story. Acknowledge and move on. Check your other placements. Energy is changing all the time. So let's do it. Source, spirits, guys. What do we have for Aries? What's their person's damage right now? What's their person's damage. What's going on in their brain? See, we got Queen of Swords. Woo! And the King of Cups hit the dirt. So what we have here is a person that is communicating very sharply and being an asshole or a bitch. Clarify the King of Cups. All right. So they're being wishy-washy about shit. They don't know what the hell they want. I mean... They see you showing emotion, being emotionally stable, and yet they're being an asshole. Why? Why the Seven of Cups? Why are they so indecisive? Mm. Yeah, they just aren't going to, you know, they're not being fair. Can be a Libra that you're dealing with. Heavy air here and heavy water. So, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, how are you feeling about this? Alright. Quite a bit, apparently. You, you still have feelings for this person. You definitely got hurt. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're trying to, you know, pull your shit together, but your wish is to reconcile with this person. You want there to be stability. You want them to come back and kiss your ass and apologize. Okay? You're having a hard time moving on from this. That's what the damage is with that person at this time, Aries. All right. Back in the deck. These will be time stamped. I switch decks when the... Energy feels lower tapped. Okay. Three shuffles and on to Taurus. Alrighty. Alright. So our spirits guides. What do we have for Taurus and their person? It's the Taurus's person's damage. One more. Star peaked out. Could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Okay. Taurus. Taurus's person. What's their damage? What's their person's damage? And they got a lot to say. Okay. King of Wands. The Empress. No, oh, Queen of Wands. Alright. Definitely not seeing eye to eye about something. Mm -mm. They're afraid to come your direction. They don't want any more grief and fighting about something. They feel like you just basically got bossy on their ass. <laughs> okay. I mean, there is emotion here. There wasn't a relationship or a connection at one point in time. They, there's a lot of passion. But they feel that you are just being bossy, bitchy, in control. Could feel like you have other options. Or that you're being too, where the hell have you been all the time? How are you feeling about this person? Like you don't trust them? Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups. And there's that star that we mentioned before. So like I said, can be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Can be Aries Leo Sag. Cancer, heavy on Cancer. Seven of Wands. You don't want to debate this. You're just like, really? You're very defensive right now. So they're semi-right with that. Because that Queen of Wands can be very defensive and bitchy. All right. You're wondering what the hell they're up to. You're trying to move past this so there can, you know, be movement forward. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Okay. We have the Hierophant Reverse. So you're questioning their faithfulness. You're questioning whether they're going to commit or not. Followed up with the Knight of Swords reverse. So there isn't any movement right now. If they come at you, it's going to be in a shitty way because that's they're kind of reciprocating what they think they're getting from you. Don't shoot the messenger. It's like you're trying to refocus. Not seeing an opportunity. There could have been a missed opportunity with this person. That is what I'm getting, Taurus. All right. A couple shuffles and on we go. Two Geminis. Three shuffles, please, source. What do we have for Gemini? Gemini and their person, unless their person is damaged. It's up in their head. All right, one more. One more. One more. 
All right, Gemini's person. What's that person's damage? What are they thinking? What the hell's going on in their mind anyway? Okay, they they feel apologetic about something. They're definitely thinking about you. They feel that you're holding your emotions back. Why? Four of Wands. Okay, why the Four of Wands? What did they do? What did they do? Okay, so they hurt you somehow. They damn well know it. They damn well know it. They see you holding back, feeling sorry about something, holding all your emotion back. Could have been a third party situation, just saying, because there's been a complete disruption in a connection. Completely. There's no foundation here. We have at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So the Ace of Wands. This, I mean, it can move forward. It's going to depend on a lot of things. Let's see how you're feeling about it. There's a lot of passion here. Somebody wants a new beginning. They don't. You don't feel that this is over. You feel like you need resolution yet, whether it moves forward or not. What else do we have for you? Yeah, I mean, there can be. There can be a comeback here. This person, and you could potentially work shit out. Let's clarify. Four swords. Queen of coins. But you do have to let go of some of that feeling of not being able to trust like a trust codependence jealousy whether they were you know if they betrayed you you still need to be able to feel good about yourself not be so defensive something similar with taurus but this person and you really could reconnect it's there you're both thinking about each other they want to come back your direction. You want to go back to their direction. They owe you an apology. So it's just going to kind of depend <laughs> on what you decide to do. If this person comes back to talk to you, have the talk, hear them out and see how you feel. Bite your tongue a little bit. See what they got to say. All right, move it on. Move it on. Two cancers. Three shuffles for cancer. Well, I think we'll switch decks. Yes. Okay. Source spirits, guys. What do we have for Cancer's person? What's their damage? All right. That was quite quick. Okay. So it's like things were moving forward, although they weren't telling you that there was somebody else involved or in their head. Can be a Cancer with a Cancer here. They might not have judged you correctly, could be feeling that you're just acting like this is too much of a burden, like you're getting the wrong impression of each other. Three Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Wands. You're feeling burdened by the fact that they think that there's somebody else involved. Empress Reverse, I mean, <laughs> how they see you is kind of being like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Like, you're gone. There isn't any communicate. A lot of squabbles. To clarify that chariot for how this person is feeling. What's their damage? King of Wands. They're they're very passionate. We got two threes here, so there could have been. They really think that you were involved with somebody else, and they're wondering why that's not your why you're not hanging out, why you're not hanging around, why they're not hearing from you, and why they feel like they're kind of needing to distance themselves. How are you feeling about this? You're watching them like a freaking hawk. You'll be, you know, you'll be square and, you know, but you're not going to put a lot of work into this shit. Mm -mm. No, you're not going to put a lot of work into this shit. You're kind of like, you know what? Take your karma. <laughs> Stuff it. Because you're going to manifest what the hell you want. Oh, yeah. And if it's not the emotions with this person, you'll go somewhere else and find it. I This feels like a newer connection or something that would be under nine months seven months type relationship honestly it does or could have started last march but this person the way you're feeling about it is like okay, yeah. you're not having it you're just not going to show emotion if you don't feel like you can trust it that's what i'm getting for you cancers all right moving on after a couple shuffles all righty on to Leo we go after a couple shuffles. Here we go. Three shuffles. Hangman Pete. Let's have something good for Leos. 
see if we can get in your person's mind, see what they're thinking, feeling right now. What's their damage? One more. One more. Death also peaked itself. So it can be a Scorpio. All right, Leo's person. What's their damage? What's their person's damn damage? What's up in their head? What aren't they seeing? Okay. Pen Pentacles reversed. Oh, lots of hesitation. No communication right now. No patience for this shit. They're trying to act a certain way, but they're really breadcrumbing. They don't feel like you trust them. How are you feeling about this person? It can be a Sagittarius. You don't have any hope in this situation. No, it's almost depressing. You're, you're really trying to get a new perspective and decide what you want. They can be self-sabotaging and you're damn well aware of it. It can be another Leo that you're dealing with. Nine of Cups reversed. You just don't feel like you're going to get your wish fulfillment with this person because they're not willing to commit. Uh-uh. Knight of Cups. They're being wishy-washy. They're acting like it's all about them. And they're being manipulative and shitty with the way that they say things. Mm -mm. I mean, there is no communication. If there is, it's very limited, and they are being impatient. Okay. Alrighty, righty, righty. How do we go to Scorpio? Scorpio. Sorry, Virgo. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Virgo. Source Spirits Guides, what do we have for Virgo's person? What is that person thinking? What is their damage? It's up in their noggin. Devil peeked itself out, so you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Okay, here we go. Virgo's person, what's their damage? A couple more. Not quite. Okay, Page of Wands, Two Pentacles, and Four Pentacles. Not sure which direction it came out. So they aren't deciding if they want to hold on to this or if they want to let go of it. They can be a bit narcissistic. Not trustable can be a little bit bossy definitely not reliable clear, clear up that uh, wands there for me that page why is he reversed can be that you feel oh yeah that there's a choice between two people when you see the lovers can be a gemini can also be a libra with justice however there's scales there's two sides to a scale the lovers there's two there's two there can be a choice between two or you're feeling that there is what they're not saying they also can be choosing two paths how are you feeling about this situation how is virgos feeling about this you know what the hell to think can be a pisces that you're dealing with bottom of the deck we have the four of cups the three of pentacles reverse so you feel like you're very alone mm -hmm. bottom of the deck we have the hermit hermit can be another virgo that you're dealing with clarify the moon Okay, I mean, you're trying to hold, it can be an Aquarius, Pisces, Aquarius, lots of major arcana here. They could be saying, hey, I am worth this time. There will be justice, but we're asking what's their damn damage. And right now it's how they're coming at you. They aren't sure whether they're putting in, they could be feeling that of you. They're not sure if you're putting enough in, that you're trying to be too single, and that you are just, you know, really not sure what the hell you want, or you're holding on to somebody from the past. Clarify the star for how Virgo's feeling. Ace of Swords. You want truth and truth alone. I mean, there is movement. Oh yeah, bottom of the deck, we get the Ace of Wands. So you could be moving on from this person. Five of Cups reversed. Five of Wands. Too much. There could be... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to point a little bit at you and say, are you interested in somebody else? No communication. Possibly somebody feeling like there's other people involved. Squabbles and shitty about that. Kind of moving forward. So if there was a feeling of distrust in this at all, or potential choice of two, I feel like it's going to be your choice. You're the one that's got the two aces down here. That's saying you're the one that's got the opportunity and you're the one that gets to manifest what the hell you want. That is what I'm getting for you. They don't know. They don't know. If they're coming at you in a shitty way. It's probably not worth your damn time anyway. All right. In the deck. 
and we will switch decks and do a Libra. All right, Libra, 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 Libra. Source, what do you have for Libra's person? What's up in their head? What's their damage? Okay, so this person wants commitment from you. Can be a Cancer, can be at a distance from you. I mean, they definitely have interest for you. Definitely. Look at that. You got the Page of Cups. They're trying to offer you something. I'm thinking their damage is they feel like you don't want to take that offer. Clarify that three of rods. Yeah, they feel like you're being deceptive about something. Clarify that chariot. Mm -hmm. They want you to offer something. They want you to stop giving little bits and pieces of yourself and offer something bigger because they have bigger plans for you. Bottom of the deck, they're like, bring it already. What the hell are you waiting for? All right, how are you feeling about this situation? You don't want to commit. Why? You don't feel like you're getting enough out of the situation. You're not sure about it. And you're like, this is just done. No, you want to move on. Page of Wands. You're showing them that you're not, you're not, you're blocking this energy. Look at that. Okay. Hair font can be a Taurus, can be a Pisces, can be a water sign. No, you're like karma, take it. Done. You're moving forward. They want your attention. They want you to come their direction. And you're just, they know, they know you are contemplating something else. Not sure what had happened, but that is what we're getting for the sneak peek in their brain. Okay, a couple shuffles and on to Scorpio. All right. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Here we go. Three shuffles source. One, two, The swords peeked out. Clarity. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio's person's damage. What's up in their noggin? What's up in their head? What are they thinking, thinking, thinking? Well, let's start with what we got. Okay, they think you're manipulating things and that this has gotten off on a bad start. Fool can be an Aries. Oh, yeah. They definitely feel like you're manipulating them. They're not even sure that they, I mean, it's like, this is a brand new something, but they don't feel like you're willing to invest in it. Mm -mm. It can be a Libra. Clarify justice reverse. They're not necessarily, they're not trusting it. They think you have other options. They also might feel like you owe them an apology. They're kind of putting the blame on your, your ass. Okay, how are you feeling about this? How are you feeling about this? All right. <laughs> you're like seriously I mean you're being extremely defensive <laughs> there's arguments here there's like oh, really oh, really really are you serious you are so holding your ground with this person we'll move that over here mm -mm. you're gonna be holding back any kind of emotion you'll bring your damn truth in I remember I said the ace of swords peeked out I mean you do care about this person you feel like you've offered plenty, okay? They're wondering if you're screwing around. However, bottom of the deck, we got the Four of Swords. You could work things out with this person. You could. You need to have one hell of a discussion with this person if this is to go anywhere. Heavy air signs. Let's see. Aries, Libra, another Scorpio. Heavy Aries again. That's what I'm getting for you. Really need to talk this out. I don't see anybody having screwed around. I just see some trust issues going on here. And they think you've got more options. Okay, moving on. A couple shuffles and on to Sagittarius. Let's get back in the deck. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two more. All right. Okay. No, not feeling it. Okay, we're switching decks. All right. 
Sag. Here we go. Sagittarius, what's their person's damage? What are they thinking, feeling? Okay, so they're having a big old pity party because it seems like you ream their ass out a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, you really ream their ass out. Ten of Swords. I mean, they're they're trying to drop some of how they're feeling, which is not very good. They're trying to refocus. So why did you chew their ass out? It's like you ripped them a new one. <laughs> They don't feel like they're being judged fairly one damn bit. Why the four? Why the four of cups? Okay. So you could have dumped their ass because of something they did. We got the nine of wands here. All up in their head, feeling sorry for themselves. They need closure. You need closure. Clarify how you're feeling about this. Ooh, we got a lot. Okay, so you're going, you know what? You are toxic. You're questioning whether or not they were even going to be committing. You got the Four of Swords reversed. There can be a resolution, but there is a hot head here big time. You got a lot of fire. Four of Wands reversed. You're questioning the foundation between you and this person. What else popped out here? Death reversed. This isn't done yet. Mm -mm. Who's toxic? Who's <laughs> Who's obsessed? Somebody is obsessed with this. They want their freaking answers. Really taking a time out, thinking about how you feel about everything. Eight of Cups. Somebody wants back in. Oh, yeah. All right, that's so what I'm getting for you. I don't see a third-party situation. I see some really bad communication and trust issues. Yes. And somebody with a very sharp tongue, namely you. Okay. <laughs> the Queen of Swords there. Has a lot to say. Wants her stability. Okay. They also could be feeling you owe them an apology. And they're just not saying it because they're afraid they're going to get their ass ripped again. So it's almost like, are they kissing it? Because, you know, kissing your ass isn't necessarily the solution either. All right. Couple shuffles. And on to Capricorn. All right. One. Two. And three. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Source. What is Capricorn's person's damage? What are they thinking? Sneaky peaky in that brain. Oof. Okay, so they feel like this is this is just not working out for them. They're having doubts that you even care about them. They are very hurt. I mean, they want to put work into a situation with you. But they're feeling very hopeless. It could be feeling that you have somebody else on your mind. Can be a Gemini. Yeah, I mean, they're very, they think you're very conflicted. They think you are very conflicted and very defensive. Wheel of Fortune, this is not how they expected things to go. Not one damn bit. Can be an Aquarius that you're dealing with, Gemini. Okay, let's see what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts about this person? What are your thoughts? Right on up there. You do love them. You do have emotion towards them. You do want to make things move forward. I mean, look at this. Bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Cups. You want to offer something or you want them to bring that damn offer in. You're still holding on to this. I don't care what you say. Page of Cups. Yeah, you still care about this person. You want them. You're like, try again, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, tower's reversed. Temperance reversed. You're losing patience. You're losing strength about this. This isn't over. World reverse. It's not done. Nope, nope, nope. I do think that they're just trying to regroup before they come in. <laughs> I really do. Okay. Let's see. It can be an Aries Leo Sag, Heavy Water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'd say that you'll be hearing from this person and there could be a resolution between the two of you. Okay, switching decks. And let's go with this one. Aquarius. Let's see what we have. What's Aquarius' this person's damage? Oh, they're full of shit. Ooh. And slow as hell. So they either think you are full of shit and that you are screwing around. 
What's hiding? Look at that. There's even something hiding. Oh. They think you're being defensive over nothing. I don't know that you necessarily know what they're hiding. Clarify that night. Okay. Let's not speak too soon. Clarify that three of pentacles. This isn't moving forward. There's delays up the ass. There's major delays. Okay. They are just not ready to put work into this. Not ready. Not willing. Not going to. Mm -mm. Could could have been a third party. How are you feeling about this person? Somebody is full of shit. That's for damn sure. Okay. So you feel like there was a disconnection. There was a breakup. You feel like somebody was full of shit. And there it is. Are you both accusing each other of things? It's possible. So we have the Page of Pentacles and the Empress. How you're feeling. You're, you're kind of friend zoning their ass. Because you want to do what's best for you. Nothing wrong with that. Bottom of the deck. It does hurt you. But you feel like you need to move on. Strength Leo. Heavy on the air signs. Mm -hmm. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But you are trying to move on. Hangman, you're taking the time out. You're, you're trying just to see what's going to come my direction. Oh, yeah. You're checking out other alternatives. You're just not sure what you want right now. We have two threes, so yes, it can be a third-party situation, but there definitely was a breakup here. They're feeling like the burden's all on them. They are not coming forward. You are not letting them come forward. Not right now. Mm-mm. You feel like there was bullshit in something. All right. That's their damage right now. Okay. We are going to switch decks one last time for Pisces. All right. Two shuffles for Pisces. All right. One and two. Ooh, what's peaking? Temperance. Very nice. Can be Sagittarius that you're dealing with? Somebody with some patience. All right. Let's see. What's that person's damage? What's Pisces person's damage source? Came out first is the Wheel of Fortune. We're going to take them this way. Oh my, that's a lot. Okay. So they can be a Leo. They do want to come your direction. They do, they do have feelings towards you. They think very highly of you. They're trying to say, I took my time out that you put me in the corner for. <laughs> They're feeling that you aren't emotionally giving to them or that you're being codependent okay there is something that's like they feel if they show you that they have changed and that they're more stable that this stands to have a connection so they're really up in their head not telling you so much just yet but boy they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna come prancing on in with an offer mm-hmm they're feeling that you're being potentially Oh, it's pessimistic, moody. They also could be feeling that you're emotionally manipulating this. How are you feeling about this person, Pisces? All right. Ooh, can be a Virgo. King of Cups reversed. Oh, Knight of Cups reversed. You don't buy the shit. You think they're not listening. You feel like they're not listening. We have the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords. You're letting go of, you're just saying, you know what? Drop that shit. This isn't about you. This is about an us, not a you. You're saying, get out, you know, get out of your damn head. You're you're kind of holding back emotionally because you don't want to offer something to somebody that isn't going to listen to you. You could feel that they tried to use this pity party as a I don't want to use the word trick, but to to sway you that it's about them. And it's not. It's about an us. It's always about an us. It's not about one person in any relationship. You think they're being a dipshit. <laughs> you really. There's stagnation. Unsure of long term. There is misunderstandings here. You could be feeling like they're toying with you by using, you know, emotions to manipulate. That's what I'm getting for you right now. They they are going to come your direction. 
it does look like you are standing your freaking ground hot and heavy. Bottom of the deck can be a Pisces that you're dealing with, but uh, can be a Leo, Aries, Virgo. But you, you just aren't sure. And until you are sure, Emperor Reverse, you're going to be bullheaded. <laughs> just in a nutshell. That's it. You won't have, no, 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 no. Two tens. You're going to be like, that's the end of this cycle. You got to put more work into it. That is what you are feeling about this person and that is their damage. Okay. Thank you for watching. If it resonated, please feel free to subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. It's so much fun. Many blessings. We'll see you next time.